everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to recreate for you something I once had years ago when I lived in New York City. It's a very simple sugar snap pea bruschetta. It was the first time I had a lunch all by myself, a glass of rosé, and felt like a true grown-up. So I'm going to hopefully share that experience with you today. We just need a few ingredients and let's get started. I have a small pot of water boiling and to it I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt and a heaping cup of sugar snap peas. And we're gonna let that boil fully for two minutes. All right, I've drained our sugar snap peas and they are super bright and vibrant in color, which usually happens when you steam them or cook them. So now what I'm gonna do is add them to our food processor. And to that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. And you can add a little bit more afterwards if you feel the consistency is a little too dry. And I'm gonna add some sea salt, just a couple of pinches. And a little bit of cracked pepper. And now we're just gonna uh, whirl it around in our Cuisinart until it becomes kind of a nice fine paste. All right, I've taken the lid off because I wanna scrape the sides of the bowl and then we're gonna go ahead and whirl it again. Okay, we're finished with our sugar snap pea puree and it's beautiful and has a really lovely consistency. And now we are going to Thinly sliver a few mint leaves. Fold them in half, and that way you can just lightly sliver these buddies. Next, I'm going to thinly shave off some Pecorino Romano. I'm just going to use your basic grater, and we'll just get some nice thin slices of our cheese. We're ready to assemble our bruschetta. So, Previously on Simple Servings, you might have seen an episode where we made fresh ricotta cheese. And we are going to spread some on one of our cut pieces of baguette. And now we're going to sprinkle a few mint leaves and a spoonful of our sugar snap pea puree. And then a piece of our Pecorino Romano. And here you have it a sugar snap pea bruschetta, your very own grown-up lunch. Enjoy it with a glass of rosé or prosecco, have some friends over, and hopefully create some new memories. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Our water is boiling, so I'm going to add our noodles in. Follow the package instructions. Basically, let it go for two minutes and then they're gonna float up. So I'm going to stir it five times. 